My latest book that will be published in February is called Murder in Macomb, the Tina Andrews case. Um, it's a true story. It's a crime story. It involves the 1969 murder of a 12-year-old girl in a town of about 10,000 people in southwestern Mississippi. One of my great purposes in writing Murder in Macomb is to try to give a voice or a story to somebody who otherwise would have been lost to history. My name is Dr. Trent Brown and I teach in the Department of English and Technical Communication here at Missouri s and I've been a faculty member here since the fall of 2003. During that time, I've taught a lot of American literature and I've taught American film and I've taught freshman composition. I've also taught classes on the culture and history of the American South. Pure and untainted yet, you know? Yeah, it's, it's weird that we've got, in a poem of so few words. The other thing that I've found about teaching and writing is that I, I can't write about something, I can't teach something unless I'm interested in it. I, I can't teach or write about something unless it bugs me. When I go down to Macomb, my hometown, I always visit the cemetery where my father is buried, where both sets of my grandparents are buried, and where also is buried Tina Andrews, the subject of murder in Macomb. Um, on one of my er early visits while I was working on this book, I stood before her grave and her mother's grave. I looked down and I said, I promise you I'm gonna try to write this book because I want people to know how it could happen that a 12-year-old girl could be killed in 1969 in a town of 10,000 people and no one could ever be brought to justice, or strictly speaking, how no one could ever be convicted of the crime. I think my family would tell you that the story became an obsession before I was done with it. Um, I made multiple trips down to um, the area uh, where the story took place. I found myself um, walking some of the same pieces of land. I found myself walking some of the same city blocks. There's no happy ending in the sense that, um, you know, it, you know, you, you, you don't, um, justice was not done. It's a, it's a book about memory as well as a book about, um, um, you know, the, the reconstruction of a crime. They're read. They're deliberate. Students are not going to take a class and have me work them through a book that I'm writing. But I approach teaching and writing in the same way. I try to find something in both teaching and writing that intrigues me, something that bothers me enough to want to keep at it, something that doesn't like lend itself to a quick or easy okay. answer. If it, if it lent itself to a quick or easy answer, there'd be no point in writing a book about it, and there'd be no point in um, asking a student to spend time with it. So we approach things that are problems. We approach things that don't lend themselves to one pat or uh, self-evident answer. If you would like to talk with me about my teaching or my research, and I love to talk about both of those things, please email me. That's the easiest way to reach me. I promise you that I'll respond.